So this video will be the second part of our network setup series on Windows 10. And in part one, we've shown how to change the computer IP address. And uh, in part two, we'll be going over a slightly more difficult scenario where you'd like to change the controller IP address. And um, for the purposes of this exercise, we've chosen an arbitrary IP address that we'd like to switch to, and we'll be going over the entire process. And effectively, the three steps that you will be taking is, first of all, you will be changing the uh, controller address, then you will be changing the computer address, and then you will be specifying within the MyCNC software that uh, you've changed the uh, controller address. And uh, here are the uh, two addresses that I used in the previous example. So 192.168.078 for the controller, and uh, 192.168.0.100 for my computer. So you can see that they were in the same subnet so that they could communicate. And at this point, we'll be changing the controller address to 192.168.22.50 and the computer address to 192.168.22.51. So you can see that they're still in the same subnet. That means that the first three digits are the same and the last fourth digit is different, so that the address is in the same subnet, but it's still unique. And uh, for this, we'll be changing both the controller and the computer address, so we'll be going over some new steps and also some of the older steps from um, part one. So to change the address, the IP address of the controller, we first of all have to connect it through a uh, USB port, which I have already done. Um, and uh, next, what you will be doing is uh, you will need the FTDI drivers. And those drivers are automatically installed on my installation of Windows 10. However, they are not uh, typically installed from what I know on uh, Windows 7, or you may not have them on Windows 10 by default either. Um, again, that's something that you should be checking. Uh, I do have them installed automatically, but we will just be going over the process of obtaining those drivers if you don't have them. So we'll be opening our browser, in this case it's uh, Microsoft Edge, and we'll just be typing FTDI in our uh, search box, and we'll just be searching for those FTDI drivers. And the first link that we get uh, to the ftdichip.com is the link that we need. We click on that and here you have uh, all your drivers that you will need. So we have the uh, VCP drivers right here. If we scroll down we can see a list for all the different operating systems. And then we have the uh, D2XX drivers. But for the purposes of this uh, setup, you will only need the VCP uh, drivers. So the virtual COM port or communication port drivers. And uh, I will be using the ones for my system. So in this case, I'd be using the ones for Windows 10. Next, we can go and check if we do have them installed already or if we had installed them using this website right here. We go into our ports, our USB serial port COM3, and we can see that we already have them listed, which means that the drivers are working. So we have uh, USB port communication. And that's what we need to uh, connect to the um, MyCNC controller to change the IP address. Again, this is separate from the ethernet cable that you would be connecting just for regular access. Next, we'll be using the TerraTerm application to actually send a command to the controller. And this is a third-party application um, that you will also be downloading if necessary. So I've searched for TerraTerm, and uh, here it is. That's the link. Uh, it's a pretty obscure-looking uh, link address. Uh, it's a Japanese website. Originally, it's an open-source third-party project that uh, we're using. Um, click on that, go to the download page, 
And here you have a list of all the download packages. So we'll be using the latest one, the uh, execution file. So I've already installed TerraTerm, so I don't have to download it and install it and go through all that process. But uh, if you don't have that program, just go on that website and download it. So now we can see that I already have the serial port. I have uh, TerraTerm, so now we can open that up. Go into serial, choose your port that's connected to the uh, MyCNC controller. So that's COM3, USB serial port. Next, we go into setup, serial port, and we have to change the speed. So by default, it's uh, 9600. We'd like to change it to 115200, so uh, 100,015,200. Um, new setting. And uh, at this point, we can send a command to the controller to change the IP address of that controller. And to do that, you will be typing in the following. Uh, you'll be using the hashtag symbol, or the, and then SLA, so set LAN address. And then you'll be typing in your new IP address for the controller. And instead of dots, you will just be using spaces. So it's 192 space 168 space 22 space 50. We press enter and we wait for a response from the controller. If that's your response, that means that the IP address of the controller has changed. This is the new IP address for the controller. Uh, and at this point, we have successfully changed it. We don't really need to do much in uh, Terra term from now on. Uh, this is our new static address. So at this point, we can simply close the application. And now we would like to uh, change the computer IP address so it's in the same subnet as previously described in part one. Um, the computer and the controller have to be in the same subnet for the communication to be established. So we go into our settings for the computer, we go into network, uh, control panel, network and sharing center, and uh, here we can either go uh, to our uh, connections Ethernet 2, that's already connected, uh, but that's going to be different depending on uh, how you have it set up, uh, you know, or whether you're on Windows 7, Windows 10. So instead, of, we're just going to go into change adapter settings. And again, just like in part one, we have our wife. We have our Wi-Fi. We have our Ethernet. Um, our Wi-Fi is just to connect to the uh, internet, and our Ethernet two is our controller uh, communication. So again, we click on properties. We find the IPv4, Internet Protocol version 4. We go into properties again. I already have the um, IP address preset from part one of this video, but we're going to be changing that because right now it's obviously not in the same subnet. It's 192.168.0 instead of 192.168.22. And uh, we put in 51 for the last digit. Next, subnet mask is the same. Our default gateway is not used since I'm using Wi-Fi for my internet connection, and we save that information. And at this point, our computer uh, IP address should be changed already, and we can just double check that by right-clicking, going into status, <clears throat> and here we'll be clicking on the details button. And you can see that the IPv4 address for the computer is indeed 192.168.22.51. So that's the correct address that we need that's in the same subnet. And the last thing that we should be doing is uh, we've changed the controller address, we've changed the computer address, and now we should indicate to the MyCNC software to use the correct controller address. Because right now it's just using the default 192.168.078, and that's obviously a wrong address. As you can see, we open the application and the uh, 
connection is not established, CNC controller is not connected. So we go into our settings again. We go into our network tab, and uh, this might take a little while to load. The uh, uh, program is loading all the settings, all the configuration options. Once it's loaded, you can go into network, um, go to the controller IP address, as previously described, and you can just change the IP address there uh, to the new uh, 192.168.22.50. Again, this is the controller IP address. The computer IP address is separate, and that's 192.168.22.51 in case of this example. And here you're just telling the computer that this is the controller address. This is where it should be sending its messages to communicate. We press the Save button, and you can see that it immediately has established communication. We have uh, messages being sent through, and if we go back into the diagnostics, we can uh, toggle some outputs on and off. Uh, we can do things like uh, jog, and uh, we can see that communication has indeed been established. So this is a slightly more difficult scenario, because typically you don't really want to be changing the IP address of the controller, but if for some reason you need to, uh, maybe it conflicts with something on your network or something like that. Uh, you can do it through TerraTerm, through changing the IP address uh, of the computer, and then changing the uh, IP address within the MyCNC application. Thank you for watching. Please visit our documentation at docs.pv-automation.com for more information.